covert narcissism is characterised with a lack of empathy, a sense of entitlement, envious of other people, preoccupation with self, that grandiose sense of self-importance and the arrogance that they're always right while seeking that excessive attention and admiration and support from those around them. Although unlike the overt who are very loud and in your face and full of that charismatic charm, the coverts can be very sweet and innocent and shy and they can be some of the most helpful people you could ever come across, some of the nicest, the sweetest, the kindest people that you could ever come across because they're looking to exploit people to get their needs met by people. Covert narcissism is a more subtle form of narcissistic behaviour to keep their behaviour hidden from view, keep their true intentions hidden from view. With covert narcissism, they tend to use passive aggressive tactics in order to punish you and get their needs met by you. All narcissistic people, overt, covert, cerebral, somatic, grandiose, vulnerable, fragile, self-righteous, whatever the narcissist with those, at least five of those nine criteria, are able to use covert passive aggressive ways in order to get their needs met by those around them. So this video is just going to be about eight or nine of those. And one of the first is the narcissist silent treatment. The good majority of narcissistic people use the silent treatment as a manner to refuse to communicate with somebody in order to punish somebody, in order to get somebody to not do what they did out of fear that, well, last time they fell silent on them when they did this and this caused pain, therefore I'll not do that again and then they'll continue speaking to me. When a narcissist feels criticised in some way, when they feel like they're not getting their own way, when they fear exposure, when they're not feeling validated, they're not getting that attention that they want, they will happily fall silent on you as a means to punish you, punish you for not living life on their terms. Things like being criticised cause a narcissistic injury, causes a narcissistic injury. Now, most people don't like criticism. Narcissistic people don't take well to any form of criticism, even constructive feedback or not agreeing with their opinion. They're, they like the empathy to be interested in another person's point of view. They're preoccupied with themselves. Guilt tripping is a, another form of passive aggressive behaviour where they're looking to manipulate you into doing what they want you to do when they can turn around and suddenly have some form of illness so that you need to take care of things and these illnesses are usually headaches or backaches that we can all experience you can't see any symptoms some will take it to the extreme where they'll have some serious illness that they're dying from that you later find out they don't actually have whenever you try to break free from them they can simply just say things such as, oh, I guess you don't care about me. If they invite you over and you've already got plans, it might be your narcissistic parents, you invite them over, they invite you over, you've already got plans and you turn around and say, oh, I'm sorry, I can't do that day. And they're, oh, well, if you don't care about me, after all I've done for you, I thought you'd show me a little bit more appreciation. Or when you arrange to go out with friends or you arrange to do something for your children or your grandchildren instead of your narcissistic partner and they turn around and say, well, if they're more important to you than I am. And as a part of their gaslighting, if they know you've got plans and you've informed them you've got plans and you've written down that you've got plans, so you know for definite they know, when it comes to these plans, they're going to come at you and they're going to have arranged something or they're going to need a lift somewhere. They're going to need something from you or they're going to have arranged something. And when you say, I'm sorry, I can't. I told you I agreed to do this. I told you a couple of weeks ago. You never told me that. Well, if they're more important to you than I am to gaslight your reality so that you doubt yourself and they're guilt tripping you to 
no longer do things for others because it becomes an easier way of life to let those down who are genuine and care about you than it is to let a narcissistic person down. Sabotage, underhand sabotage. If you've got an important job interview, they'll go right ahead and hide your car keys. Not only will they do this, they'll help you look for them while criticising you and humiliating you for being so stupid as to lose your car keys. Again, a form of gaslighting where they've actually taken the keys and hidden them and then accusing you of being dumb for misplacing them and then helping you look for them. And then when it's too late, finding them for you and expecting eternal gratitude because they're seeking that validation and attention. So they want that eternal gratitude that they found the keys that they hid from you, which is a very confusing minefield to live because you don't have the evidence to prove that they took them. However, when these things keep occurring, they're looking to sabotage you. Narcissistic people don't want to be supportive. They don't enjoy seeing other people's happy unless they're the reason behind that happiness. They're envious of others, so they don't like other people's success. And gaslighting is another covert manipulation method where they're going to try and get you to doubt your perception of events, doubt reality, doubt your thoughts, doubt your feelings, doubt your opinions so that they can remain in control of the situation. Backhanded compliments in order to mask their true intentions and they often do this in a way to bring the attention back onto themselves where they might just turn around and say, yeah, you did good, but I did it like this. Or to triangulate you, yeah, you did good, but did you know that so-and-so did it like that? To try and pull you down. So those backhanded compliments to undermine you, undermine your credibility, make you feel inadequate, make you feel inferior so that they can reign superior. Playing the victim is another one. They will go all out. Cheating, for example, being cheated on. When you find out your whole world crumbles because what you thought you knew now, lo now no longer exists. Everything's changed in one second, one moment of time. And it's naturally going to arouse curiosity, jealousy. It's naturally going to cause resentment and anger and leave that bitter taste in your mouth that you've been duped. You might feel stupid. There's so many emotions that's going to go running around that a narcissistic person has caused by cheating on you. Yet instead of taking responsibility for their behaviour, they're going to turn around and gaslight you and accuse you of being the jealous one, the bitter one, the angry one. And as that's matching how you're feeling, you end up questioning yourself. Not only do you end up questioning yourself, those around you question you and not the person who lacks morals, lacks oil, honesty lacks loyalty. That's the person who needs to be questioned, somebody who is willing to do that to somebody that they supposedly care about, not the person who is dealing with the emotional turmoil that the narcissist behaviour towards them has caused them. Yet a narcissist looks to play the victim in the scenario and claim that it's the other person that's jealous, it's the other person that's obsessed, they've done no wrong, they just had to get away from that other person. People can cheat for various reasons and these situations can happen and it's not always a narcissistic person and not all narcissistic people cheat. They will cheat you out of your home, your friends, your family, your health, your wealth. They will cheat you out of things. Not all narcissistic people will physically cheat on you. And some people who cheat are not narcissistic people. It's that repeat pattern of behaviour. Those passive aggressive remarks where they're just going to chip away at you with those subtle digs and snide remarks and sarcastic comments to wear you down to constantly, you get to a point where you actually hear your abuser's voice in the back of your mind telling you that you're not good enough, you can't do that, perhaps you should have done it like this. No one will believe you because they're having those subtle chips at you, telling you that you're a bad parent. And it's often projection of their own behaviour, that they're the things that they're telling you. 
and triangulation is another one where they're going to form that triangle between people to play people off against each other or to create jealousy between people to get people to work harder to please the narcissist or to divide and conquer to stop people from communicating and finding out about the narcissist's true intentions. There are many passive aggressive mind games that narcissistic people play in order to remain in control in order to feel superior in order to exploit people to get their needs met by people in order to remain being right any you noticed please add those into the comments for people reading through thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel it's greatly appreciated if you are new to the channel i'm Elizabeth Shaw. this channel is all about narcissistic behavior to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse if you do find the information helpful on the channel please do subscribe Subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available. There's teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the vid video description. I do also have a couple of books out on Amazon. A narcissist handbook which is a self-help guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse and 15 rules to deal with narcissistic people if you're not able to go no contact which i'll also link into the description go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day bye